Simplify your roughing using stock aware toolpaths. Let's take a look at how version 31 makes it easy to rough your 2D parts using a 3D toolpath. Okay, so we have a, a two, two and a half D part here, and we're looking for a fast and easy way to rough out all our materials. So the first thing we'll do is set up our job and run our stock wizard. Now for the toolpath we're gonna use here, this is a stock aware toolpath. So the software is gonna know where the material is and it's gonna know where the part is and it's gonna remove the material in between, okay? Uh, you'll find this under our mill professional. So we'll right click on our machine setup. We'll go down to mill three axis. We'll go ahead and select our part geometry here. Okay, when we go to our machining strategy, this is gonna be the advanced rough strategy. And from here, we're gonna edit some settings so that the tool path is created the way that we want. All right, so we'll set our tool size. We'll set our type of uh, strategy or, or cut pattern. This is gonna be an adaptive roughing routine. We'll set our depth of cut. We'll set our step over, uh, adjust some of our tolerances, uh, add some stock on the wall for finish. Okay, when it comes to where the tool path is created, we want it based off of our surfaces. So we leave material below in order to hold the part. When it comes to our leads, we're gonna uncheck center cutting tool. This way it won't plunge into those pockets that are in the center. And then there's a couple of other options like machine flatlands. So this way we know it will clear the flat areas of the part. Once we're done, we'll hit compute. And it's just that easy. The software will start off the material with the tool working its way into our part geometry. 3D advanced roughing is a fast, easy, and consistent way to quickly re remove material for your two, two and a half D parts using a 3D toolpath.